This video demonstrates the technique of peritidectomy by robotic infraclavicular approach. As you can see this in this MRI, it's a deep lobe tumor. Um, this is how we start the process of raising the flap. The flap is raised in the uh, subplatysmal plane. This is the head of right sternocleidomastoid. So we are going from the infraclavicular region and we are heading superiorly. So that is the platysma. So we raise the platysma and go along this plane to reach the parotid. Here we can see the greater auricular now along the posterior surface of sternocleidomastoid. This is the parotid tumor. We have raised the entire flap up to the upper end of the lesion. This is a pleomorphic adenoma as per the FNAC report. We generally use two instruments. We don't use the third arm. So the process starts by dissecting along the anterior border of the parotid gland to identify the marginal mandibular nerve. So this is a retrograde technique. The PRIA technique is a retrograde technique of parotidectomy. So once the marginal mandibular nerve is identified along the lower border of mandible, we trace it posteriorly into the parotid gland. You can see the nerve there. Once that is done, we head towards the lower pole or the tail of the parotid gland. So this tail is raised from the sternomastoid muscle and we go towards the digastric muscle, the posterior belly of digastric. That's the retromandibular vein joining the facial vein in this case. And as we go deeper, that is the digastric. So we go along the digastric muscle to separate the parotid gland it's a dissection of the posterior aspect of parotid gland You can see the cervical branch of the facial nerve here, which is being dissected down. This nerve can be cut. However, in this case, as we are using that also as a landmark to guide us to the trunk of the facial nerve, we prefer to retain it in Priya technique. You can see the one nerve above that is the marginal mandibular. This case happens to be a deep lobe of parotid tumor and the, the tumor has lifted up and stretched the facial nerve. So that is the cervical branch which is dissected. As we head cranially in our, in our dissection, we reach the tragal cartilage. So you can see 
the structure which is at the tip of our dissection is the tracheal cartilage that is the retromandibular vein again so here the superficial lobe appears to be healthy and the nerve is stretched over the tumor as you can see here so as we are planning to perform a total peritonectomy a nerve sparing total peritonectomy we are performing a superficial peritonectomy here as we perform total peritonectomy we have to remove the superficial lobe and the deep lobe separately that is the superficial lobe which is separated we dissect the stretched nerve gently without using any energy and tease out the tumor from under the facial nerve this is the inferior trunk of the facial nerve so the tumor is teased out from below the now and we go under the angle of the mandible to dissect the entire deep lobe as of today the concept of peritonectomy is to perform adequate peritonectomy it is not necessary to perform total peritonectomy or superficial it is the adequacy of the margins and adequacy of the removal of the tissue which is important that is the now being gently pushed and the gland being removed <laughs> 
as you can see the nerve has been stretched by the tumor and it's very lax so that completes the dissection as we have dissected the entire lower trunk now we need to separate the tumor from above and get it down you can see the vessels over there and the and both upper and lower trunk of the facial now the last attachment of the gland the entire parotid gland which was dissected from superficial part is also cut the entire specimen is bagged before removal and that is the nerve the bed which is seen that's the nerve the lower trunk and the upper trunk visualized upper trunk and the lower trunk thank you very much